and welcome to Ink Express. Today we will talk you through the steps and show you how to download and set up an ICC profile in Adobe Illustrator on Windows 10. For those that aren't sure what an ICC profile is, it is a file created and provided in our sublimation packages to help improve the colour tone and accuracy of your sublimation prints. Here we talk you through how to download your custom profile and select the correct settings when using Adobe Illustrator. We provide all of our sublimation packages with a disk copy of the profile. For those who prefer or don't have a disk drive, we can email the profile over and you can download it directly from your email. So if you were receiving your profile via email, you will need to click the download icon on the attachment and that will automatically save the profile in your downloads folder. Next, you will need to open your downloads folder here you will see the profile we have just downloaded. If you right click, you will see the option to install profile. You won't visibly see anything happen here, but it will have installed the profile to the correct place for you ready to open in Illustrator. If you prefer to manually transfer the file from one folder to another, then you can do so by right clicking and selecting copy. We now need to navigate through the folders to paste it into the correct one. We do this by selecting this PC, select your local disk drive C, click Windows, and then we need System32. You may find it easier to search for this in using the search box. And we do the same with Spool. Then we open Drivers and colour. In here is a list of all the installed profiles on your computer so you can right click and paste if needs be. The profile is now saved in the correct place and ready for you to open Illustrator and apply the print settings. Here we open Illustrator with an image that is sized ready to print. We click edit on the toolbar and we go down to colour settings. Under the Working Spaces heading, we change the preset CMYK to US Web Uncoated Swap Version 2. We then move to the Colour Management Policies heading, where we change both the RGB and CMYK to convert to Working Space. Then we click on More Options. We want the engine to show as Adobe Ace and you can see that Intent has four options. We generally use either the perceptual or relative colour metric option here, but you can select any of these to change the final result. And then we click OK. We now need to go to File on the toolbar and down to Print. We select Colour Management on the left hand side. We make sure that our colour handling is set to Let Illustrator Determine Colours. We select Printer Profile and scroll down to find the profile we previously installed. The Printer Profile will start with IE underscore Inktext Sublinova and then your printer model. So for example here we are printing using the ET2710 so we select this profile. Again here we select either Perceptual or Relative Colour Metric as the rendering intent. We then click on Setup and we will get a notification pop-up here, which we click Continue. The Printer Settings box will now appear. Select the printer we are printing from and click Preferences. We need to change the paper type to Epson Matte and the quality to High. These are general settings and the settings for the Ink Express Subly Sharp paper if you were using different Ink Express paper, then you may require different settings. You can check these on our website. Now we select more options. We go down to colour correction. Click custom, advanced and select no colour adjustment. And we click OK. We now need to tick high speed and mirror image at the bottom of the page under additional settings. We click OK and we are ready to print. Thank you for watching this video. For more information you can view our other tutorials or visit our website inkexpress.co.uk 
and don't forget to like and subscribe.